In this episode of Life Aboard Treasure Hunter, we take you on the journey with us while we change boat slips. We went from Holiday Isle to Emerald Coast Yacht Club. <laughs> but it wasn't all work and no play. We had plenty of fun. Welcome to the Adventures of Treasure Hunter. Our boat is our home away from home. Hi, my name is Kurt, and this is my lovely wife, Coco. Join us as we celebrate our life together. Welcome aboard Treasure Hunter, and thank you for watching. We took a tour of the new yacht club. After looking at many other options of slips to move our boat, and when we got to this yacht club, we knew this would be Treasure Hunter's new home. Once we knew we were gonna move Treasure Hunter here, when you get to know Kurt, you'll know he has no patience. He had to come that night. Okay, today's the day we moved the boat to its new slip at the Emerald Coast Yacht Club. We started out here in Destin. We've had the boat here for about two years in Destin, Florida. Beautiful, have loved it, great experience. Our slip was in probably the best location ever, just off the beach. Right there, dead center of your screen is our slip. That's not the boat though. Here's our boat in its slip. Many fine nights, but now it's time to move it. So we're gonna take it out here to Destin Harbor and we're going to head west we're going to go right by Noriega Point. You'll see us here often. This is a great place to hang out. People come here by the hundreds and fill up and just have a great time. We've met a lot of great people there. And from Noriega Point, we're going to continue heading west. And we will go underneath the bridge and Pass by Crab Island. Tons of videos of partiers and boaters. There's places to get alcohol. There's jump stations for kids. The water is as close to the Caribbean colors as you'll ever see. From there, we're gonna go across the bay north towards our new slip up in Boggy Bayou to Emerald Coast Yacht Club. and our slip is right there off the pool. Here's why we decided on this particular yacht club. It's 45 minutes closer to our home, so a shorter drive. It's got a pool, it's got dock hands, it's got fuel, it's got a jacuzzi, it has a clubhouse, it has a restaurant, it has a tiki bar. It is fantastic. The vibe that the yacht club has is more of a, a resort feel. So there's music always going. So we got up in the morning, had coffee by the pool on the water, take the dogs on a walk. The dock hands here are great. We just pulled up and they filled our boat up with diesel. And on the way, we saw a group of five or six dolphins. We're on our way to have a day of fun on the water. Sunday. We are at Noriega Point, one of our favorite spots in Destin. We tried to get out of here by 9 a.m. because there are boats everywhere. Social distancing is no more. People have been locked down in their houses and now they are out and about. The, uh, the dock master at our new marina told us that 4th of July last year they had 54 boats unloaded at the marina and yesterday they had 51 and yesterday was just saturday but it's after the uh the lockdown so people are excited to get out so we've got a new slip we moved from holiday isle to em East emerald coast. coast yacht club in niceville and then 
and now this is our first day out. Yesterday was a work day, food day, clean day, Walmart day, errand day. Back one day and I still manage a smile. Chill. Okay, stop right there. What you're about to see might be a little disturbing. We had trouble with our windlass today, which is the machine that pulls the anchor up into the boat. So we are troubleshooting it. Christine decides it's a good time to teach me patience. Yay! Back down just one foot. Back down one foot. How many? One second. Yeah, one second. How many? That's part about your day. Happy hour. Magic hour. Just like a KC hour. It's your second favorite part of the day. I'll tell you what my favorite day, part of the day was yesterday. What? When you drank vodka thinking it was water. <laughs> Trying to poison me, woman. In typical fashion, we uh, had a boat experience today, so we're going to share a little bit about that right now. I have a headache, that's why I'm pushing. Why do you have a headache? So we were unanchoring, is that how you would say it? <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up the anchor at Noriega Point, and like I do, I'm putting the anchors on the back of the boat. Well, there's the bow anchor, and Kurt was trying to pull that up, and I'm hopping on to the swim platform, and Kurt starts yelling at me, and I'm like, I'm doing my job, what's your problem? And he's like, no, get to the bow, get to the bow, and get to the bow, and... Why, why, did, I have, why did you have to go to the bow? The windlass was not pulling up. Yeah, the windlass did not get a grip on the line. We have about 35 feet of anchor and the rest is line, or do you call it anchor road? We and need the wind to get chain. Yeah, we're going to replace it all with chain, but the windlass lost grip of the line, and so she had to go up there and heave ho the anchor. And the anchor is to hold a 20,000 pound boat, so you imagine how much it weighs. In fact, I think it weighs 30,000 pounds. And who started yelling up the side of the boat? He was like, there was a, of course, you know, we're at Noriega Point, people drinking all day, and the guy starts yelling, pull, pull, and he set the pull. Hook. Anyways, I pulled up the anchor all by myself. It all worked out, and after she did it, everybody was clapping, because there must have been uh, thousands of people at Noriega Point, all back in, beached onto the, uh, the the beach there and she pulled up and everybody started clapping. I don't know if it was the bikini or if it was her feet of strength. If it was what? Her bikini. Everyone started clapping and I was trying to figure out was it because of the bikini you were wearing or was it your feet of strength? I think it was my strength in the bikini. 
Right. But we we thwarted impending danger because there were million dollar boats to the left of us and million dollar boats to the right. <laughs> it was nasty and the wind was blowing and there were dolphin terrorists and everywhere tornadoes. and tornadoes. Yeah. There's a three-toed sloth with a bad attitude, <laughs> so I can't believe we did it, but we did. We survived. Laundry at the Yacht Club, because tomorrow is a big day at Moriego Point, and Roscoe, he's ready for bed, and Winky. Winky, what are you doing? And Christine is in love with the massage chair. This is a lounge for the yacht club. And I caught that fish. Well, maybe not. Tomorrow we're gonna come here and we're gonna have coffee. We're gonna have coffee tonight. The facilities here are amazing.